People, I love cooking. If you like it too, I'm certainly going to ruin your mood. Today I will look at some of the worst food I could find on the internet. And if you're eating while you're watching this video, we're gonna see some disgusting stuff here. There's a page on Facebook. I know that alone is probably the worst start to a sentence you can hear. Anyway, there's a page on Facebook called Rate My Plate. And it is exactly what you think. Let's have a little deep dive. And let's rate some plates, shall we? First one we have here. English breakfast as a dinner with onion and sweet corn by Matt. Lovely Matt T. Send us some good English breakfast as dinner. Yeah, what the hell is that? Let's rate these out of 10. I would give this a 4 out of 10. Because Jesus Christ, what is happening on that plate? Damn, you, you, kind, of, you kind of just got yourself ingredients and just threw them on a plate like that. And I don't know if I like this, to be honest. It could be tasty, but for me it's a 4 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, on this Facebook page there's a lot of delicious stuff, very delicious stuff. But every now and then you come across things like this. Thick cut butcher's ham on a soft white baker's roll by Sylvia O. Sylvia, I don't know what's going on, but brother, what are you eating? <laughs> this has to be English as well, right? Where do you, do you keep your butter in the freezer? Is it that hard to like spread the butter properly? This is not spread butter, this is like chunky butter. You get chunky butter on there. Also, like, what what kind of rate my plate is this? <laughs> you just took bread and spread butter on it, put one thing on there and said, you know what, rate this. This, this is my meal, rate this, I did this. You just got yourself a baker's roll and put some butter on it. <laughs> what is that to rate? Two out of 10, because what is even that food? That's not even half a breakfast, what do you mean? I'm, I'm saying 2 out of 10 just because we got so many lunches, like proper meals here, and you're setting this? 3 out of 10. Rice and beans for dinner by Kai W. Kai W took a massive L here, if I'm honest. You just put rice and beans, no seasoning, no nothing. That's just, that's a prison meal. Rice and beans, that's it? That's your whole meal? Rice and beans? I mean, sure, there's some protein in it, but yeah, you need to stop using baked beans and not season anything at all. At least get some chili in there, you feel me? Your taste buds are crying. They are begging for more flavor, please. Oh yeah, uh, also 3 out of 10. I... I can proudly say I have never seen such a disgusting meal like that. You got you got foreskin on your platter. That's foreskin. No way that ain't foreskin. You know what I mean? Rag putting by Christopher E. Yeah, Christopher E. More like Christopher erase this meal. Yeah, uh, yeah. That wasn't great. I, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, you guys can boo me in the comments. Uh, it's fine. First of all, why are your vegetables almost see-through? This screams like chemicals to me. And what the hell is that white sauce on there? That doesn't look tasty. I mean, it could just be mayonnaise, but why is spread it that weird? And the foreskin on your plate, that looks disgusting. If I want to poison somebody, I wouldn't even give this. I would never even give this to my worst enemy. What did you cook up? What did, what did you do with it? That's a waste of time. I mean, it, it could be delicious, but it just looks disgusting. Like, like your three tomatoes are not balancing it out. Let's be honest here. The, these three, four tomatoes are not balancing anything out. Decent, one out of 10. Mackerel and Doritos is the best by James L. It's a bad day to have eyes. Surely that's a 0 out of 10. Am I tripping here? That's a 0 out of 10, right? We're gonna skip this. But let's clear our heads from Facebook because we got so many other websites to visit to see disgusting food. Yeah, I'm having a great time here. So nothing good is on Facebook anyways, except me. I made a Facebook account to post my shorts on there as reels and see what happens. So go follow it. I guess. But you know, some recipes online just come with a little introduction. They got a little story. But let's see what's probably the worst start you can have into any recipe ever. Maple shortbread bars. Okay, let's see. Shortly after the attacks of September 11, 2001. What? What? Why are you starting there? What kind of story? Like, I'm kind of curious. What kind of story is coming afterwards? I actually, wait, let's, let's check if this is real. Let's check if this is real, wait, because what the hell? Oh my god, it is real. Shortly after the attacks of September 11, 2001, Regina Schrambling wrote up the healing power of cooking. The food is not really the thing, she said. It's the making of it that gets you through a bad time. 
Nah, but I it doesn't really work for me, I can't lie. Still, that's not a good sentence. I, I don't think that's nice. You can't say September 11th, 2001 and like the Twin Towers fall and say cooking in the next sentence. No, we're not doing this. But yeah, here we just have a simple case of disgusting. Sister accidentally defrosted chili instead of spaghetti sauce, slapped the slice of cheddar in there and now it's Mexican spaghetti. This looks like my sister cooking. She accidentally defrosted chili instead of pasta sauce. Brother, I don't even think spaghetti sauce could save that. Who is eating this? A three-year-old? That is clearly not enough food for, for a normal person. This looks like hospital food. This looks like peak hospital food. Nothing is worse than if food has the same color as the pavement. Mac and cheese battle. My sister and I are having a mac and cheese battle to see who gets to cook it for Thanksgiving. Mine's on the left, hers is on the right. Who y'all with? Comment under that. Both of you need to be in prison. Yes? Yes. Yes. Why is it gray? Why is it that color? This looks dirty. This ain't macaroni and cheese, this is macaroni and mud. No way, this is just brown and gray. And and who took a bite out of it? <laughs> it doesn't look like a spoon, it looks like somebody bit off it. What is happening on the right one? Like, the cheese is not cheesing. Your parents should file a lawsuit against you if they have to eat one of these. Oh, but what would a disgusting food video be like without the proper and good value British cuisine on it, right? People from Britain, you can try to convince me you get good food. But every good food you got has immigrated, yeah? Every good food you have is immigration. Made some fish and chips. Yeah, I think you forgot to like make the fish. This you didn't make this fish. The chips, all right. They, they look all right. I don't I don't like when chips are too salty, so they actually look fine to me. But this fish, you sure it's dead? Nah, brother. Someone straight up grabbed the fish out of the water and instantly deep fried it as soon as it touched air. <laughs> like, hold up, yep. Yeah. Instantly on the stove. That looks like you deep fried it while it was still living. But let's end the video with a TikTok account that cooks only disgusting food. Why ever that is. Just learn how to cook properly. So what are you making? I'm making a great pie. Wow. Where is this from? I saw a um, video from Michael. Mama. What, Josh? How much sugar is already in this thing? I don't know, but we need another cup of sugar. It looks like um, the North Pole. The North Pole. <laughs> and those are like little icebergs. Whoa, Ooh. no way. Please, can someone wash my eyes with bleach? What was that pie? I'm baffled, I'm I'm done. How do you think it's a good idea to put grape soda on, on just a pie and then, then put it in the oven? And also, when she, got, when she got under the sink to look for stuff, I got scared as hell, I can't lie. Don't put your lemon juice next to your cleaning supplies. No way. Let's see a final one, okay? I try to put my headset and I smack myself on the face. <laughs> what are you making? Hot dog spaghetti. Can you give me a spoon? Pull this up. Oh look! She said I got tagged on TikTok, so I need to try this. No, you don't. <laughs> Simple answer, no, you, you don't really have to try this. Whoever tagged her on that video is a, is a demon. You want her to eat this. If you have a two to four year old, they would eat this up, but not as an adult. And also, don't you heat up your sauce? She just put in the sauce with a spoon like coal. People, yeah, gotta be honest, that's enough internet for today.